So this move is a tricky one. Ideally on this move, I want to start my dribble before a referee has decided that he's seen me establish a pivot foot. So I can start dribbling. doesn't matter what my feet are doing because I'm dribbling as soon as I catch that ball. Notice that I'm trying to have my feet off of the floor when the ball actually hits my hand. So there is no pivot foot at that point. You see I'm taking a little hop as that ball hits my hand. So I want to start dribbling there. There is no pivot foot. So the feet footwork off the cats doesn't matter. Then I'm going to attack towards the baseline, make a tight spin move there, back to the front of the basket, and then I finish him with the left hand. And then on the right side of the basket, we're going to do the same thing, finish him with the right hand. So catch. Now you see if I catch it and establish, I wait a little bit. Then I'm going to establish that foot, attack towards the middle, and do the same thing. So I'm going to lift that foot off once the ball leaves my hand. For you FIBA level players, you have to start your dribble then. Where we're just going straight into a spin, you would probably have to take an extra bounce. That's really the only difference between a lot of the stuff we do out of triple threat off the catch in America that you might not be able to get away with playing FIBA ball. You're just going to have to take an extra bounce where we can just take a big step. That's the only real difference. So all these moves can be applied. You just have to make the adjustments. You don't need somebody to tell you to do it. You just got to do it. You know how to play basketball. Do it. Hit that thumbs up to like this drill. Any questions, leave a comment. Work on your game. All day, work on your game.